All right, so we're going to take this old Indian uh, bicycle there. And what we're going to do is we're going to turn it into a medium, small to medium power hammer. And it's going to run by just hand cranking it. I can actually put a motor on it as well. I want to design it that you can actually use it just by hand. And do you know what the cool thing is? Like last night I was, I was awake. Trying to design this thing, the cool thing is, is that when you turn the bicycle upside down, it pretty much straight away is a power hammer. <laughs> That's just what I think is so ingenious. So because I'm the inventor of it, I haven't seen anybody else do it, I'm going to call this the bicycle power hammer. I know, very inventive, right? But anyway, that's what I'm going to call it. That's what it's going to be. If you want to see how I build it, stick around. And let's put on some cheesy music and get started. attach um, some kind of uh, lifting force. Now there's a thing called a Da Vinci held hammer where Da Vinci actually made a blacksmith hammer a long long time ago and he used a, a snail cam. So look up snail cams on the internet and uh, that's not what we're going to go for. We're going to go for something slightly different. Um, but that's only going to create a lifting force. But you can actually attach it really well to this bicycle using all these little holes, using little small screws. Take that off and you have more little holes here. And you should be okay. Now the only thing is, as I mentioned, it's only a lifting force. Now what we're going to do is we're going to get a pipe, a round pipe. And we're going to put that over here and then drop it down and then weld it onto that point here. And what that does then is, it's going to, as it's turning, it's going to lift and push down at the same time. So when it's going up, it's going to lift the hammer arm. And as it's going down, it's going to push that hammer arm down. So we're going to get a lifting force and a dropping force through the gravity of the hammer, but also because this wheel is going to be spinning. And it's going to be spinning quite fast, I'm hoping, as fast as I can go. And that will give us a very quick hammer blows, a lot of quick hammer blows. Up, down, up, down, up, down. That's what I'm hoping for. And the, the amount of energy traveling down should be also increased by that design. This is now one hour and ten minutes into the project. All right, it's looking pretty good. I mean, I'm not pedaling that fast. Look at that. I mean, I mean, that's doable, you know? I'm not pedaling that fast really. If I want to pedal faster, I mean that's way faster. Alright, so this is Thomas. He is the brother of Salua, my wife. He came in all the way from Germany to visit us here in India and he wants to help out as well. So we'll get started. We'll probably we found a second um, uh, bicycle handle and we're just gonna see if we can actually get it in there kind of levelish. Get rid of that thing. Let me down one pinch, Meissen. The saddle is going to be our spring for the actual hammer. The hammer is going to be sitting or mounted onto that. That will give us enough give so that when we're moving this, it doesn't all blow up into a million pieces. <laughs>
When you have a hammer, you can do two, it's got two forces. It's got one which is heavy. So the bigger the hammer, the, the more the hammer arm weighs, the more metal you can displace. Now there's also of course another way, another force which is speed. The faster you can go, the more hits you're going to get, so the more metal again you can displace. Makes sense, right? So with a small lightweight build like this, I'm going for speed. I'm not going to try and go for too much weight, even though I can add springs to add more weight, but I can also, I'm just going to add, this is already quite a lot of weight, the hammer uh, arm kind of thing is going to be a lot of weight, and the, I'm going to have a small hammer here, and that should be about 5 kg maybe, at the most, maximum. And I'm, so I'm aiming for speed, is what I want, and that's why I have a very small cam, just to mention all that. So that's it, let's carry on, I'll fill you in when I get there. Okay, so, <laughs> I don't know, I'm almost scared of the thing. It's a little bit, um, it's powerful actually, this is just more thing, it's pretty, it's got oomph. Um, and it hasn't got that much weight, it's hitting about two, two wax a second I would say. So there's a five pound hammer, plus the arm itself probably weighs another five pounds. So ten pounds, fours, at two wax per second, and it's giving loads of, it's giving loads of force, so we'd be able to move steel, hot steel, no problem whatsoever. Now, if you want to mechanize it, I would suggest go for a small motorbike. Strip it down to its bare minimum, turn it upside down, put a ball bearing on the back wheel somehow, uh, weld it into the axle, or the axle into the ball bearing rather, and then you're pretty good to go. Um, probably take about six to eight hours. Add a kind of a electric motor, don't use the gas, like don't use a petrol motor on that from the motorbike, that would be probably way too dangerous. Maybe you could use a starter motor. So it's going to get dark now, half an hour, i got to get out of here. Hope you enjoyed it, and I might see you in the next one as well.